Right, I've seen a I've seen a beautiful project on the Chimcraft blog by someone called Angela Dobson. Um, she calls herself Polly Purple Horse. And um, oh my goodness, the box she's done, she's done like an exploding box card, but it's got four drawers in it and it's absolutely amazing. You need to go over there and check it out. I was so inspired I decided to have a go myself. Now I went online and had a look and I saw one tutorial um, but I, I'd already made this box before I went online and had a look at the tutorial and the way that the lady on, on, online had done it um, I hadn't done mine that way so I'm going to show you the way I've done mine I just sort of figured it out from what Angela had I just looked at Angela's box and kind of figured out how it might work so this is the box anyway so you've got this is the side and then when you take the lid off you have these little drawers and obviously it opens up and you've got a little Christmas tree in the middle that I've done and then each of the little drawers I've put a little snowflake on from a previous Christmas and you just pull them out and obviously you can put you know treats in there or you could put a card in there you can do whatever really I apologize for the lighting it is night time so I don't have the normal daylight that I have as well the papers that I've used for this particular box are the first edition Christmas Promise from about two years ago I think but I love that I love the pink and the grey and the copper together very very cute so that's the box and I'm just gonna put the lid back on this was the first ever time I'd made this box so I had a few teething problems with it as you can imagine like the lid not being quite right but anyway so that's the box we're gonna make so I'm going to use instead of using those papers I'm going to use my new Dovecraft Little Red Robin papers. Now these have just literally come through my front door about an hour ago and I love them. <laughs> Beautiful. There's a whole range that goes with them. Um, I don't know if you can see, I'm not sure if you can see the papers but anyway they've got um, robins with reeds, Christmas trees, snowflakes, Merry Christmas, more snowflakes, um, musical notes so you could use that for birthdays as well, um, holly, robins, stars, more robins, Poncetia and a plaid. Really, really nice. So that's what we're going to be using. You also need two, well, you need, no, just one. You need one sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock as well. Okay. You will also need, and I'm not sure where to tell you all the measurements now. I'll tell you all the measurements now and then we'll go through it where you put them all. You'll also need, she says, looking at her little list. Um, four, not four, eight, eight patterned pieces of paper. Now I've done two different, so I've got four of the Merry Christmas and four of the Poncetia. And these bits measure uh, two and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. And these go on the outside of the drawers, like the drawer covers, the matchbox covers. You also, it's optional, you, I've also got eight, have got eight of these? Yeah, I think I've got eight of these. Eight of these, which are the sides. So on my box, eight strips that will go here. Okay, so these are for the other ones on the inside. These are for the sides. So you need eight of those, and they are a three, a three quarters of an inch by two and no hang on three and three quarter inches yeah quarter of an inch by three and three quarter inches right i'm not going to give you the rest of the measurements until we get to them because otherwise i'm going to get confused and you're going to get confused so you start off with your 12 by 12 paper it's really helpful if you have a scoreboard for this card because if you don't you might struggle so you get your scoreboard out and you want to score she says looking for her scorer, which has disappeared. There it is. Right. Ooh. You want to score at four inches and at eight inches. And then you want to turn it and do the same. Four inches and at eight inches. Four inches and at eight inches. So you're basically scoring it into thirds, so you have nine squares. So that's that there. Then what you want to do is you want to score on each of these middle panels, you want to score one inch in, so it's seven inches, and you only want to score to this first line. So you want to score there, 
and then you want to score at 3 inches and again you don't want to score as far as that line. If you turn your page 90 degrees, put it back in again and do the same again. So you score at 7 and you score at 3. Sorry, the only reason I'm saying 7 and 3 is because, you probably, I don't know if you can see, I've written at the top here because I've got 1 here and 12 this side because of where the notches are because I can't get in to the notches here so that's why I have mine back to front. So 3 inches and 7 inches. Then we go back in again. So okay, so okay, so for you guys, if you're if you're starting from one here to twelve here, let's make it more logical, it would be at one, two, three, four, at five inches. So going left to right, five inches and six, seven, eight, nine inches. Okay. And let's move that round. So again at five inches and at nine inches. You can see what I'm doing anyway, where where I'm doing it. So you end up with that, which is quite an interesting looking pattern. You can see the score on that. Right, so you now don't need your scoreboard until you come to the lid. We'll put it away for a second. Now what you want to do is you want to cut. Now I'm going to do this with a standing knife, I think. Um, just because I think it's a little bit easier. If you have a super duper trimmer, which I did have, but I need a new blade, then you could use that. Now what you want to cut is you want to cut down this, so your four inch line until you get to the one going the other way. So from there, now I can't see very much, see if I'm, maybe I will use my trimmer. No, I won't use my trimmer. There we go. So from there till you reach the, till you reach the line. And then you want to turn it and do the same again. So down that four inch line until it meets the one going in the opposite direction. Like that. Turn it, do it again. And last but not least, turn it and do it again. Okay, so that's all your cuts and scores done for the base of your card. Now, I did on my other box, I didn't, all the panels on the inside, I didn't stick them on before I put it together. I put it together and then I stuck the panels on. So that's quite a difficult way of doing things. So I would suggest that you, now is the time to be sticking your panels on. Probably the best thing to do, obviously I've got a pattern side and I've got a flatter side. So I'm going to have the flat side on the inside. So I'm just going to fold along all my lines, just for now. Oh, that's the other thing I need to do, sorry, I've just seen. You also need to cut down here as well. I've just seen that. It is late at night while I'm doing this demo, this um, tutorial, so you have to bear with me. So you need to cut, you turn it around this way, it's easier. So you want to cut from that cut line, just down to this cut line, because this is part of the side of the box. You only want to cut down there, you don't want to go any further. So you're literally cutting to there, and again, I just literally rotate and do the same all the way around. It's easy if you rotate because you're not going to get confused about which bit to cut. So you're always cutting the same bit, so this bit here. Cut, turn, last one, and cut. Right, I think that's all the scoring and cutting that needs doing. I hope so, anyway. Right, so then turn it over, and then you want to score, not score, fold all your lines. Right, so 
there you go. Right, now what you need to do is you also need to cut out a piece of pattern paper, I've used the stars, which is three and three quarter by three and three quarter, and that's going to go in the middle. So I'm going to stick that down now, and then that's done, then I don't have to think about that again. going in the middle. Now you want to turn your sheet over and you want to start sticking down all your little bits that you've got ready to go round. Bear in mind that this is the top, that's the top, that's the top. Bear in mind the right way up of each panel. So if, you, if it's easier do like the top panel because that's going to be the right way up and then turn it and do the top panel so at least you know what's happening then. So I'm going to do that there, that there, I'm going to have a Merry Christmas here and a Merry Christmas there and then I'm going to do a Merry Christmas here and a Merry Christmas here, sorry not a Merry Christmas Ponset here, and then a Merry Christmas here and a Merry Christmas here. That's how I'm doing mine. And then I'm doing all these strips are going to go down these sections. So I'm going to stick all these on. Right, I might need to pause this video just so you don't have to watch me. There we go, the last strip is on. Right, now what you also need to do is you need to cut out. Now this isn't quite the same colour, but it doesn't matter because it's being a tab, so it's fine. Um, in fact, actually we'll do that in a minute. Let's do the let's do the actual drawers first. So that's basically your the base of your card. Okay, now what's going to happen is these are going to go together like that. We're going to put a little tab inside to connect the two sides, and that's going to be your drawer fronts for each one. Okay, so we're going to put that to one side for now, and then we're going to get out the parts that we need for the drawers. So the drawers measure, now I've had to go to centimetres rather than inches for this, just because. I struggle to work out eighths of inches, etc. Um, so, the drawers measure 15 centimetres by 12 and a half centimetres. And what you want to do with these, again, you need your scoreboard back for this. You want to measure, not measure, you want to score at two and a half centimetres on every every side. Now what I would suggest you do is, see I've made mine literally like a, a millimetre less than 15 centimetres and 12 and a half centimetres and I'm literally going to go around now and do, what did I say, um, two and a half, one, two and a half, hang on a second, Score, oh 2.5 centimetres, sorry, <laughs> Score at 2.5 centimetres, not two and a half inches, didn't think that sounded right, right so, Right, so I've got centimetres on the other side of my board. So, one, two, and a half. And then I'm going to turn it, and I'm going to do two and a half again. One, two, and a half. Turn it. One, and that's one, two, and a half. Turn it again. One, two, and a half. So that's one draw done. Right, so now what we're going to do is get a pair of scissors 
And you're just going to cut down that score line until you hit the line going the other way. Like that. Like that. So you're basically making what would sort of be a lid, really. It's going to be your drawer for your matchstick box. So anyway, so that's that. Right, so now then, my drawers, let me just fold, we're going to fold all the lines, I think. Let's fold all the lines and then we can see where our panels need to go. So let's just fold all our lines. Now you'll notice I haven't quite cut that right, so I have to go back and trim that in a bit. It's going to hinder me. If you want to, those edges, you can actually notch them slightly, so that they're more like tabs. Um, so that will then save you from having any problems like that. Right, now again, before I stick these drawers together, I'm going to stick the panels in. So you want drawer insides go inside your drawer like a liner those need to be the same size as you had for your outside panels so they're two and three quarter by three and three quarter so we're just going to stick those in they also add a bit of weight to your drawer because this card that I'm using is not the thickest card in the world because it's the, the core card stock um, so it's not the thickest in the world ever um, so it does need a bit of Stabilisation and it looks nice as well when you open the drawer and you see a nice little, you know, a nice little pretty pattern paper in the middle. Right. Next, I've got four little strips which are going to go on the drawer front. Now again, if you've got a right way up paper like I have. And just think about where your drawer front's going to be. It's going to be at the top of the paper because you're going to pull it out and it'll be Merry Christmas. So it's going to be this bit here. So you stick your three quarter by. So it's got my sheet three quarter by two and three quarter is what you're going to have for these. And these are just little drawer fronts, and again, it just helps to stabilise the box a little bit more. So again, on this one, it needs to be the top, which is there. On the Poncessio paper, it's not really going to matter, because I don't think there's an actual right and wrong way. Right, now is the time to stick your drawers together. So, I'm going to start with the one I haven't just stuck. This one. So turn it over. You'll see, feel your tape, your backing off. Bring your drawers together and then you just want to make sure that it's nice and square. Okay, so you just do that all of that. Do that with all of your drawers. your drawers. Right, so now what you want to do is you want to now I've cut out I've cut out not enough strips here. I'm not going to cut any more because you're going to I'm going to bore you all to sleep. I've only cut out four. Um, so what I was going to do was cut out some for the sides like that. So when you pull it out you've got it all the way around. Um, or even for the insides to hold to hide this quite nice but anyway I have I've only cut four and I need eight so I'm not gonna bother with that this time around so I'll add that later on 
So you've got your four drawers. So now you want to bring your, get a bit of card. You can bring your base in, in a minute, but you need to get a bit of card and you need to cut it. You need to cut uh, four strips that are, um, let's have a think, they are four inches, four inches, um, which way shall I do it? So it's this way. Four inches wide, and they need to be, I would say, about an inch and a half. Yeah, an inch and a half long. Fourth one. Um, and a half. That needs to be four. Right. So all those four, you now need to score in half. we go right so now you need to bring your base back in again and you want to stick these so that they come to the edge like that so if you stick one side down first of all that's the best way of doing it uh, if you need to pick the edge that's not hanging off the side of the card would be good there we go right so turn that over and then So you've got a bit of the beginnings of a tab, so that's now going to connect to there. So I'm just going to get my drawer, this is the relevant drawer, and I'm going to put that in, and then I'm going to stick it down, I think. Mm. See last time what I did, with the, other, with the other one, I stuck it down like that, but then if you do that, you do end up with, sometimes it's a bit tight. Mm. So if you do it round your drawer, at least you know it fits. So I'm just going to move that out a little bit. I'm going to stick that down, I think. Obviously, it, it's, it is easier to do it flat because it's nice and, you know, you've got a flat surface to press against, whereas with this you haven't. But the only advantage with this way is then you, you know it's definitely going to fit around your drawer. And your drawer's not going to be so tight that you can't get it in or out. So that's quite trim, but it's not too bad. There you go. Alright. Stick in that there. There we go. Right. I keep doing this all the way around. Right, so I'm not going to put anything in the middle, the other one had a Christmas tree, but I haven't made anything yet to put in the middle of it. So these will fold up like that, like that, okay, now I'm just going to make a lid for it. So the lid, and then I'm going to put a few little bows on the front here, just so you've got something, it looks like, you know, I mean obviously you're not going to pull on it, some people might, but you know. So the lid, you need a 6x6 six sheet of paper, you need a three and three quarter by three and three quarter square which will go on top and you need some kind of decoration. I've chosen the little cute little holly. Again these come um, as part of the little red robin um, series. Um, so you need your scoreboard back again and you need to score at, why do I keep losing, there it is, um, you need to score at one inch all the way around. And then you want to do the same again, so you want to cut down your score lines. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. And again, fold all your lines. 
and again here if you wanted to you could notch notch that this way like that across so it's not quite so I quite like leaving them square just because then you know you can kind of line them up with the inside and get them in the right place but um, sometimes if they're just slightly out then that can be a bit of a problem then again you want to put tape on or glue whatever you whatever your best your favorite because it's felt it'll take a bit easier there we go so then we want to peel off all our backings and stick our lid together now when you put your lid together don't just do it mid-air like I did with the drawers okay you want to do it over the top of the box because you want to know that's definitely going to fit so bring your box in like that now what I would do is I would probably stick one corner together first so stick one corner bring your box in put the one corner over and then work round. Now again, you're going to get my head in this because I need to make sure it's stuck. Sticking it into place. Because then you know it's definitely going to not be too tight. It might be a bit snug, but it's definitely going to fit. There you go. And there's your little box. Now I really want to... Um, some ribbon around the outside of this so I'm going to use some of their new Christmas ribbon and I'm using the no peeking ribbon because I thought that was quite apt since it's a little gift box now just to finish off I am going to turn the corner and I'm just going to cut it at the beginning of the no peaking bit. Now, thankfully, it does actually um, finish the word. It, you know, matches up. It, ru it run carries on the run, which is good. So you don't end up with no peaking, and then you know, so that's good. So then you, you can't really see the join very easily. But anyway, there you go. And so that's your box, and then I will put something in the middle of that. But um, I hope you have a go at this. Sorry it's been a bit of a long video. As I said, if my skills were a little bit better, then um, it would have taken so long. But there you go. Um, you'll see a picture of it on the Trimcraft um, website, which is thecraftblog.com, I believe. The details are on here. Yeah, www.thecraftblog.com. They're also on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. It'll be on... Um, It'll be on my blog at some point as well. Um, I am going to put these bows on so you will see these bows on as well. But I just don't want to bore you any further because you're probably all half asleep by now. But anyway, I hope you have a look. And um, I'll put the um, I'll put a template on my blog um, for how to do the actual base. Um, and obviously this video will help you then make it for yourself. And I hope you have a go.